Hello, I'm Joe Wren. It will be several years before IU Health Bloomington moves to a new hospital on the city's east side, but officials are already thinking ahead to challenges the new location could present. That includes how they'll deal with game day traffic. They spoke about the transition to the new hospital during the Greater Bloomington Chamber of Commerce's annual health and business event today. We'll be working with the Department of Transportation for the state and then also with the university itself, who has a specific uh, traffic plan for every special event. So our guarantee, our promise is that whether it be emergent, urgent, or routine visits to our campus, we'll get you there. Moore says there are at least two entrances planned for the hospital. Nashville is expected to approve its first ever tax abatement tonight, something the town manager says is a sign of economic development. The company Real America is planning on building a senior housing development in Brown County with a sliding payment scale for residents over 55 years old. Big Woods Brewing Company is also in the process of applying for a tax increment financing designation, another first for Nashville. And Indiana farmland values declined in all three categories for the first time since 2009. But Purdue economist Michael Langemeyer says he's not surprised. Revenue from crop sales have been down, which usually, usually leads to a drop in land value. The only area of the state in which farmland values didn't drop is southwest Indiana, where prices for the best land are up 13%. Here's the weather forecast tonight, a slight chance of showers and isolated thunderstorms, lows down to 60 degrees. And in the five-day forecast, mostly sunny Friday and Saturday, highs in the lower 80s, 85 by Sunday with a 40% chance of thunderstorms. And we have more news on our website. Just go to WTIUnews.org.